Good morning folks, we're here in the shop. We're just going to be going over the uh, chainsaw grinder I just picked up. We're going to start the assembly. If you could please subscribe, that would be appreciated. And that way you'll get notifications of when we bring out new content and all sorts of various stuff. So this product that I bought is one of the cheaper units on eBay. I researched it as best as I could for a reasonably amount of time. This one was pretty cheap, it cost about $70 US, but it seemed to be, it seemed to have more of the specifications um, that were on the more expensive models, like $120 models, and it seemed to have good reviews. Came with two grinding stones, eighth, eighth inch and three sixteenths. There's instruction manual, but I don't really like being told what to do. So typically we try and just disregard that sort of stuff. But if you're the type that likes to follow instructions, it seems to be a fairly thorough set. Has all the angles and top plates and stuff like that. Pretty good instruction manual. Here's the base. The base seemed a bit chintzy, to be honest with you. Well, the base itself didn't seem chintzy. The uh, casting all seems good. The clamp is what seemed chintzy. I don't know why it just pinches on one spot like that, but maybe it's not a big issue. Let's get it all out of the box here. <coughs> it's out of the box here now. We'll have to find something to mount it to. Typically you'd mount it to a, a bench, but I don't have a bench that I want to use 100% yet. So I'm going to use a temporary one. Alright, we're back. So, I decided to upgrade to a larger board. This is a true 2x6, not that fiddly junk that you get at the, at the uh, hardware store. Had to, so had to remember, I had to go water the rabbits, so that's where I was. So, we're going to throw some big uh, anchor. <clears throat> screws in here if it isn't sufficient well I would be surprised but whatever this thing down here you move And loosen and then you can rotate this so I see there's a, a dowel here I assume it probably goes in there maybe seems all right So they say to do a bit of a test and hang it and then tap it and it should ring. And if it doesn't, it might be cracked and you shouldn't use it. 
So you see that hole in the shaft? You're supposed to be able to jam something up through this, this hole in the plastic and you get stuck in there and then you can unloosen the end washer for your grinding mill, but it's not even lined up. The wheel I'm putting on is the 3 16 wheel. That's uh, so you gotta take off this plastic shroud. So they made it extra, extra, extra safety. So I imagine a whole bunch of people probably going to try and just run it without the guard on it. going above and beyond on being stupid. I don't know how it actually will operate. I'm just looking at it from a a view of being unnecessarily annoying. It may grind like crazy and be an awesome piece of equipment, but right now, right now this is downtime. If I have to change this stone and it's taken, that one was taken probably 10 minutes so far. Just to do something so simple is unnecessarily hard to get off and if they made it so that you could actually change the wheel without taking the guard off ever well that would be even better and I don't know what would be so hard about that Folks, I don't really recommend doing this, but only so much frustration I'll take. I was planning on just putting these two easy to access bolts in and leave that third miserable one out. But then the shroud rubs on the side and makes it so like this shroud over here rubs on the side of the blade. And makes cuss it. So, I ain't got time for that. 